So throughout all of our videos on planners and how to maximize your productivity, one conversation that has often come up is, Brandon, how do you personalize OneNote so I can manage customer projects, events, and activities, and really take my organization to the next level? Well, today, guys, I'm gonna show you how you can create a notebook in OneNote to create project management, notebooks as well as customer notebooks that help you grow your sales, your marketing, better organize your meetings and put it all together just not for yourself but for your entire team. As well, I'm going to show you how you can integrate that notebook into your daily planner. So stay with me. So before we get started, I wanna tell you a little bit about myself. I'm Brandon Boniver, creator and founder of the Key to Success Planning System, a planning system built for you to help you grow your productivity, maximize your opportunities, and reach new heights. The planning system is personalized across four different editions for personal growth, professional growth, career growth, as well as team management. And today, guys, I'm gonna show you some components of that planner, but more importantly, we're gonna focus on how you can create custom notebooks in OneNote to better organize your team across your customers and projects that you are managing. So let's jump right into it. For this demonstration, we're gonna be using an Apple computer to show you how to create this notebook, but assured you can use the same commands on a Windows machine to create your notebook. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to add notebook. Commonly on a Windows machine, you go to file and create a new notebook, but here we're gonna to go to add notebook and we're gonna to go to new, and then we can choose a fancy color. In this case, I'm gonna pick silver, and I'm gonna put down Bradford Projects. So I'm naming the notebook something that's gonna be relevant for me, and then I can choose the location, and then hit create. That is the first step when it comes to actually creating the notebook yourself. You're gonna to wanna to be able to create a team notebook or a notebook name that's gonna be able to be recognized globally across all the different platforms that you want to use. So once your notebook opens, you're gonna notice that you're gonna have a default new section one with a title page here. We're gonna go ahead and create a library or index. One thing I want people to commonly think of OneNote as like a filing cabinet or a binder. Essentially what we do is this notebook is that file drawer in a sense, and we can create sections and tabs that we can insert information. That also allows us to easily move different sections or folders from one area of the notebook to another area of the notebook, like you would in a binder. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create a group section. So right click and create a group section. Now what is a group section? A group section is like a higher level section that allows you to group multiple sections inside a group. And why is that important? Well, in this case, we are gonna go ahead and we're gonna create a new group section. And I'm gonna name this section A through E, identifying that this section is titled to manage customers that start with the letter alphabet A through E. And I can right click on that again, and I can create another new group section. And this time I'm gonna title it ABC Plumbing Company. ABC Plumbing Company happens to be one of the customers that we work with, and we're gonna give them an individual group section. Now, when I get into here, I have the opportunity to continue to create group sections, and you might wanna have a hierarchy. So if you have marketing teams, accounting teams, or additional teams that you wanna be able to utilize, this is the place where you wanna do it. But you can also dive right into sections. In this case, we're gonna go ahead and do a new section. We're gonna call it Projects. I'm gonna create another section. I'm gonna call it Meetings. We're in a marketing ad agency, so I'm gonna do marketing. And then I'm going to create another one that's called admin. One thing that's really neat about doing this type of structure is you have the ability to share not only the pages, but you can also share the sections as well as password protect. And I'll show you that in a little bit in the video, how you can password protect different sections. So this admin section is gonna be reserved for those that have higher level of access 
when I share this notebook across my team. The next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and create pages. Now, if you're using a key to success planner, you can jump into your key to success planner, go into templates, and I can choose my project template, copy that template, go back into my notebook, Bradford projects, and go under projects and hit paste. I can also go ahead and go into my planner and click on the templates section and hit copy section two, choose from this drop down, Bradford projects and hit copy. So what's nice about being able to copy that templates folder is now you can move that into the actual notebook reserved for Bradford projects and the entire team will have access to those templates. And you can see now that that tab is located there. I can also go ahead and, and delete this new section and we're gonna go ahead and choose a meeting page and hit copy and go into our meetings pages and hit paste. Now one thing to note, every time you create a section, there will always be a default page that'll be listed. And you can delete those out if you choose to once you make a secondary page in that respective tab. Now if you are one of our executive users or you're someone in sales or customer management, you might benefit from going into our CRM and pulling in our templates here. One thing I often find very useful is our client template as well as our call log. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna copy one of those, go into Bradford Projects, and go right underneath and go into Admin and hit Paste. This is gonna give us an admin level access where we can put information about the client, the account information, what is our interest, and things that we don't wanna share globally, but are definitely tied to this individual business that we're working with. We can also track our customer logs. So you might have a salesman that has access to this tab, but you might have other people in your firm that have access to only the meetings, marketing activities, and different creative assets that you have when it comes to managing this customer. So let's say we have this project page. One of the first things we're gonna do is we're gonna call this New Year Kickoff. And we can go ahead and we can write notes on this page. We can go ahead and put our planning board together. We can assign tasks and develop our timeline for this project. But let's just say we're gonna have a meeting about this particular project itself. Now I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. I'm gonna hit paste. And I'm gonna say this is the December 15th planning meeting. Now we can go ahead and we can build out additional meetings and keep track of all of our meetings in here. So over time we have an access point to all of our meetings. And I'm going to show you how you can link this meeting into your calendar very shortly. And for those of you that are in marketing or communications, we're going to jump into our communications planner and we're going to copy the template post plan, which is one of the templates we have for creating social media posts, blogs, written articles, video, audio format, anything that you would use in your communication plan for marketing a customer. And I'm gonna jump back into Bradford Projects and go under New York Kickoff, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit Paste. And I'm gonna make that a sub page to the year kickoff. So now this here is going to be our first campaign. Now I can go ahead and I can right click on this first campaign and choose the copy link to page and then go back into my project and under objectives, I can go ahead and hit paste. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna give me a hyperlink that when I click on it, will take me right to that campaign. So if we have several campaigns that we're going to develop over the course of this first quarter, we can indicate those here individually and place hyperlinks in a timeline so we can better track them. We can also go in to our meeting page and if we're gonna have a discussion, about that particular activity, I can place that here under projects. And now as we have an agenda item, we talk about what we're doing in this planning meeting, I can again easily access this page and be able to navigate to it easily and freely from notebook to notebook. And to give you a sense how this hierarchy can work when it comes to group sections, I can come back into here, minimize this, right click, hit new section group, and this time, I'm going to enter in one of the companies I work with that is called Ducks Bait. Now Ducks Bait will have a very similar structure to it, but you can see that I can easily come in here and 
toggle between each one of those projects. Now I mentioned before that you have the opportunity to share this. So I can come into the notebook and go to share and I can invite people to it or I can copy a link that they can see. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead here, hit invite people and I'm gonna type in an email address to someone that I wanna share this with. I can also make it so that they have the ability to edit it or simply view it and I can hit share. This will send them a link to the actual notebook and it'll go to the email address and they'll be able to open up this notebook in their OneNote application as well and contribute to it if you choose to edit or simply view it if you selected the button not to be able to edit it. So after sharing the notebook, there's certain areas of the notebook that you might wanna restrict access to. Well, you can go into those tabs, like I shown here before we have admin, I can right click on it and hit password protection and I can password protect this section. So this section as well as any of the pages that we indicated in this section are password protected. So we'll go ahead and we'll put in a password and hit set password. This will lock this section. So even if you share this section with other individuals, they will not be able to see what the contents of this section unless you give them the password. And as you can see here, if I type in a password, it'll go ahead and show me the actual content that is in that section. And I can easily lock that at any time. Another component that's really unique about the Key to Success Planner is the fact that we now have tiles that allows you to personalize some of your content. One of the tiles that we have is our meetings tiles. So we have a base page right here that you're able to utilize, but you can go into our tiles page and you can see assortment of different backgrounds that you can use. Maybe you have different size agendas and attendees. Maybe you need more area for brainstorming. There's different task tiles that are available as well as different note tiles. Now we have tiles to help you grow your sales, your meeting organization, develop out your projects, and several others, and we'll continue to add tiles as we move through the planning year. And if you guys have ideas or you have forms that you want to see in a tile, make sure to jump on our website, send us an email, chat with us, and we can do that to help you personalize these notebooks for you. You can also embed files, which I'll show you in a little bit. So if you have PDF or images that you wanna make part of this planning system and part of this project notebook, you, we can easily do that. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to come into meeting tiles here. I'm going to copy this one here and go into back into Bradford. In this particular meeting, I wanted to have a, a different tile or a different page because I really wanted to focus on some of the timelines that we have. So we're going to come into here, go into background, and I'm going to copy this tile, come back into the meeting page, and I'm going to paste this tile here and I'm gonna paste a second tile here. And I'm actually going to put a title on top of these tiles. And one of these is gonna be content team. And then the second one I'm going to put is going to be sales team. And the reason I'm doing that in this instance is when we conduct this meeting, we're gonna have one approach to talk about growing and distributing this marketing plan in the first quarter but there's going to be a role for the content team and the sales team and each department is gonna have individual tasks. And this is gonna allow me to customize this meeting page so we can take better track of that. So that is a look at how you can use tiles inside this custom notebook. But now we're gonna talk about how you can start to utilize hyperlinks in our planning system with this notebook. We're gonna jump into this meeting page and we have this December 15 planning meeting. I'm gonna go ahead and right click on this and choose copy link to page. You would do the same command on a Windows computer as well. And then I'm gonna go ahead and jump into my actual planner for 2022, go into fourth quarter to December and go to December 15th. And this meeting is going to occur at 9 a.m. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit paste. Now what that allows me to do from here this notebook is my planning notebook, it's not shared with anybody, but because I have this notebook as well as the Bradford Projects notebook open on this device, I can go ahead and click on this hyperlink and it'll take me right to this planning page. What's also really cool is we talked about this first campaign. I can click on that 
And that's gonna be one of the projects that I'm gonna be working on. So I'm gonna right click on that one and choose copy link to page. Go back into my planner and I'm gonna put that down as one of my daily key three. So not only do I have the meeting page there, but I also have the first campaign. Now, earlier in the week, if I was going through my planning system and I wanted to talk about the different opportunities that I had in front of me, that is one of the opportunities that I'm going to list inside my planning week. So what's really cool about hyperlinks is you can take the different projects, different meeting pages, your sales activities, any of the notes that you're taking, and you can create hyperlinks and share those hyperlinks across notebooks and really utilize your planner as a means of indexing all the different work you have, but then use that shared notebook as a way to communicate with your team on how you're producing content, managing that customer, or building out that project. Last thing I wanna show you is how you can import media, PDF files, and other means of content into this notebook so that you can help develop ideas, track information, and just expand this notebook to be your binder-like filing system that you're accustomed to in tangible everyday life. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at this post plan. And one of the things that we were gonna do in this post plan is we wanted to showcase some different ideas that we had. So I have this file right here on my desktop. I'm gonna click and drag it into here. And you can see there's an image now that's on here. I'm gonna take that image and I'm gonna make it a little smaller. And I'm gonna put that image right over here in this creative board. So this kind of gives myself some ideas of what we're after. Maybe I also wanna showcase uh, a screenshot of a page or two, or if there's a PDF file, I can come into insert and I can choose either file, a picture, I can screenshot something. So maybe I wanted to jump over to a website, pull the website here. So I can go ahead and do a screenshot. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the image that I want to do a screenshot of, and it's gonna be of this website. I can come back here into OneNote, click on screenshot, and then I can choose the different browser window that I have open. In this case, maybe Safari, and I'll import a screenshot right here. Now this gives me the ability to start marking up. I can pull into my pencil, my highlighter tool. If there's different things that I want to highlight, if there's different things I want to mark on this page, I can easily do that. And that's gonna give me the sense of being able to make annotations on whatever medium that I'm pulling in to the planner. And this can be done across all the pages. So not just about content that you're using for marketing, but if you are a builder and you're building out a project and you wanna move a wall, or you're a landscaper and you wanna draw a rough design on how that's gonna look, you can do that right here. So that was a look at OneNote and how you can use it to build out a custom notebook to help you track your team, projects, build out customer information, and be able to share and collaborate that across all the individuals in your organization. You can do that independently. You can also use the key to success planning system and benefit from all the different tools that we developed and import those right into the notebook. Guys, I'm excited for you to give this a try. If there's just one, just one, one piece of information that you gained from watching this video, please do me a favor, hit the thumbs up, like and subscribe to our channel so you can learn more about how to maximize from OneNote, digital planning, tech review, and many other different annotation apps that we cover on this channel. Guys, I am the founder and creator of the Key to Success Planner, and I feel just with great privilege to be able to speak with each and every one of you. So if you have any questions, by all means, go ahead, hit the comments. Somebody in our organization or myself, somebody in our community will connect with you and help you further your journey with digital planning, customer management, and just growing this world that we're in. With that being said, Lord willing, we'll see you guys again in the next video. Sorry, Brett.